Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly forecast from the Gasmic Tarot. This is Love Money Jobs Career for the week of September 28th through October 4th. So let's get started. So I'm going to pull a few cards for you and um, all the links to the cards are under the video. Thanks again for subscribing to support the channel. Appreciate that. Also giving away a free reading and instructions on how to enter are below the video. What do we have for our Sagittarians? All right. Okay. You guys can see that. All right. All right, I see you walking away. Okay. All right. Getting some a ton of messages right now for you guys. One more, guys. All right. Ah, oh, Sagittarius. Hmm. All right, so you're coming into this week. For those of you who are looking for... I see some of you, okay, so I see delays here with the hangman in reverse. Revise your, expect, manage your expectation is what I'm getting. Manage your expectation. I see some delays on the home front for some of you. Um, uh, and and on, the, on, the, on the job front, the finances aren't exactly what you would like them to be. But I also see... On the relationship side, action that needs to be taken. Do I stay with an existing? Do I stay or do I go? So, because um, I see, I see some of you ending a relationship. Uh, there's no going back. You're revisiting a past relationship, and I don't see uh, some of you. I'm getting that. Some of you are finally having to make a decision and, and you're walking away. Um, and there's some sadness there because there's a lot of history. But really what I see also is this rebirthing of you. So, so let's, let's move into what we see here with the death card. So I see a lot of anxiety and stress over the situation, um, whether it's for home those of you who have to make a decision to leave a, a, an existing home, you maybe you're, you're moving or you've just recently moved into a new home, uh, you're closing the page on past love and shedding that emotional feelings of sadness for a job that you've left or lost. But really what this is saying, this is... It's, it's the time to reinvent yourself, Sag. Reinvent yourself in the love area, in the job area, in home area. Um, I know it's been, an, uh, you know, I'm seeing for a lot of you this has been a big internal struggle. But, gosh, you got, you got the Nine of Pentacles here. So you've got stability in the money front, in the job front, in the home front, in the love front coming for, toward you. For those of you leaving past relationships, the stability starts with loving yourself. Um, really, it's a week of making decisions on where you want the direction for the rest of your life to go. I'm getting a very strong message here. Let's pull up. Uh, the, this is the Ascended Master card, and these, again, these decks are all below. 
Okay. So it's asking to balance career and home life. So the message, okay, okay. So I'm getting message from spirit here. A lot of you are, are um, for some of you, I'm getting that there hasn't been an even split. You know, the three Bs, balance, bandwidth, and burnout. I'm feeling the burnout a lot because there's no balance in that home La, home relationships, and these could be relationships with um, family, friends, and lovers. Um, so find the balance between the, the career, the home life. Find the balance in those relationships and your inner balance. I don't see a lot of balance lately. I think that you're burning the candle at both ends of the stick, and it's time to find the balance and and again, if you decide that you're going to leave a past relationship, maybe one's pop back in, it's time to move uh, forward and make a decision there. This is your week for the rebirth the, as you're moving forward. And the love front, what do we have? Okay. Huh. Okay, for those of you who are waiting for new love, and I don't know if you can read that. There you go. It's worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So for those of you who want that beautiful being who is deserve, you know, that you deserve, somebody who's going to respect your time, your energy, the and and respect the love that you can offer. Um, this might not be the week for you, but we'll talk about how to get there. Uh, on the on the money and the, the manifestation front, it says, it says, I can create both money and the time to enjoy it. So again, it goes back to that balance. Money is in, is, is yes, the currency, but if you if you're just working and you can't enjoy the fruits of your labor, why bother? Um, okay, so I'm also getting keep the home, the home, the home, everything is stable some of you and this is the this card is about material enjoying the material things of life so i see some of you decorating uh, re, uh doing some kind of renovation on the house uh but let's get back to the love for a second for those of you who are looking for that soulmate um i keep getting back i keep getting guided back to the list if you really want your soulmate you can have it in three easy steps Number one, calling in your soulmate. Take a piece of paper out or Excel. Write a list of all the po a positive list of all the qualities you're looking for. So if you don't want a stinky drunk, say, "Hey, I want them to. I want to. I want them, this person enjoys two drinks a week." Create your list. Make all those items a positive. I will not call you a picky bitch if you have two hundred items. It's okay. Take the list, prioritize what's the most important to you, print it out, fold it up, put it away. The universe has your order. They do not want to hear, are we there yet? That's just anxiety. And you've already stressed out and anxious enough. Put it away and then start working on that Louis Vuitton, that beautiful baggage that you've been carrying for maybe years because it's time to release that and to learn discernment as you move forward because you want, you've want you already created the image of the god or goddess and now it's time for you to become the match. So you have to work on yourself, whether it means going out and doing you know, exercise and walking, definitely getting rid of a lot of that emotional baggage from past relationships. As far as the money front, uh, I see delays and stress at the beginning of the week, but I do see... More stability at the end of the week, dear Sag, uh, as you move forward into opening up for more opportunities. So, guys, I love you, Sag. I only want the best for you. Um, this is a week to work on you and find the balance and not be so anxious about being in a relationship that you are not able, you know, that you're accepting somebody who is not worthy. All right, guys, thanks again for subscribing, clicking that little button to subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time. Take care.